Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video we will look at building a desktop application using a Python in Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Python is a popular programming language that is reliable, flexible, easy to learn, free to use on all operating systems and supported by both a strong developer community and many free libraries. The language supports all manners of development, including web applications, web services, desktop applications, scripting, scientific computing, and is used by many universities, scientists, casual developers, and professional developers alike. So to get started, first of all, we have to open a Visual Studio installer make sure we've got the Python development environment installed. So once you open the Visual Studio installer, which I've opened right now, you need to make sure the Python development is, is checked. And you have to make sure that you download and install it. I've actually done, it, done that, so I'm not gonna do it again. So we actually close this bit here. So we start by actually op creating a new project but before we do we do so to be able to create a desktop application using python there is other um there's other one other thing that we have to do open a web browser and we go into ionpython.net so here we have to download this bit here a stable version of ion python so once you click on the download it will actually take you to a uh, a github repository so you scroll down yeah and you actually download the, the part that it, that applies to you so i'm using windows 10 so i've actually i actually downloaded and installed this bit here the mic the, the msi so i suggest you do so if you're using a windows 10 or, or windows so once you're done with this bit here then we can continue so once we've we're actually done with that, we can we can get back to the Visual Studio and we create a new project. So now once we click on the create a new project, we get a create I mean a new project dialog up in here. So we select the, the type of language that we want to use. So which is Python, yeah. So we see the platforms here, so we can select what, what type of platform that applies to us. So we leave it as all platforms. And then the project type, that you select the desktop. So once you've actually selected the desktop, as you can see here now, we have we have some, some project templates that we can start with here. So now we're going to create a, a Windows slide Presentation Foundation application WPF by using the Ion Python WPF application. So we click on this bit and we, we go next. So here, obviously, we can actually configure the, the project details like the name and the solution where we want it to be. So we're not going to look into this too much. So we're just going to go create. So we wait for the project to be created. So as the project is being loaded, I will explain a little bit about Ion Python. So Ion Python is an open source implementation of the Python programming language, which is tightly integrated with the .NET framework. So Ion Python can use the .NET framework and the Python libraries and others, and other .NET language can use Python code just as easily. So why are we actually using Ion Python here? The Ion Python is an excellent addition to the .NET framework, providing Python developers with the power of the .NET framework. Existing .NET developers can also use Ion Python as a fast and expressive scripting language for embedding testing or writing a new application from scratch. The CLL is a, is a great platform for creating programming languages and the DLL makes all the 
better for dynamic language also the .NET framework so now that we've got the whole thing loaded so as you can see here we have we have um, an XML file WPF application to the XML so this is this is where the user user interface is put together in your usual uh, um, XML and then the code behind this is a Python dot pi. So on the user interface side, you can easily add elements to the UI, just like your usual WPF application by just drag dragging and dropping. Like you can drag a button and drop it inside the pen, just like just like. Um, no more WPF application and you can make the changes inside here the same as just like the same as usual WPF application so you can handle all events at the event side here by double clicking the event side so as you can see here so this the dot pi here you can write your event handler very simple very simple code so as you can see it's not it's not very difficult stuff here so to, to get going we have to we, we can we have to also look at the environment here so here this bit here you can add a new environment or you can use the existing environment that is derived from the from the ipython in installation so this part here you can actually set up some additional uh, additional configuration you can set you can add a new environment so as you can see here you can set up whatever you want to use here and you can add other details here if you want so I'm just gonna cancel this bit here so obviously to run it then we can click on this bit here or F5 to start running it, an application so let's go ahead and click it to see what actually comes out of it here So we wait for the application to start running. But while it's actually loading, yeah, we can put a breakpoint here so that wants to to actually see what happens to the click event. So we're just gonna wait for the for the application to to load. Okay, so we have it here now. So let's click on the on the button and see what actually is going on. So so basically we've we've got this this bit here hit now. So this shows this shows that obviously we have the we have we have the I mean the button click event handled yeah. So this is this is how you can actually start from actually going forward with your desktop application yeah so if you can if you if, if you can look at it here so as you can see we have we have the events being handled here so it's, it's a very simple or the simplest way to actually get started of course I'm not going to be overly complicated because this is just a video just to get you started and run your first application so now that we've got the whole thing actually sorted out yeah you can go ahead and build your own application and start to play with it yeah so to to just to, to complete the video I'll, I'll also urge you that to, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel because I've got lots of videos coming up so have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay tuned
Stay blessed. Bye-bye.